How's it going? I've been hiding from the apocalypse that is 2020. <sighs> Scary stuff out there. That was impeccable timing. Is that what I think it is? I think that's what I think it is. Hold on. It's here. It's here. Yup, it's what I think it is. It's lights. It is LED strips to hang up in my room. We're gonna stop this video and I'm gonna come back because I'm about to make the lighting in this video look so much cooler. All right, are you guys ready for the lighting in this room to get significantly better? So excited. <laughs> so freaking cool. Okay, these are our options. We have red, we have green, ooh, that's bright, blue, orange, white, or, oh, this one's gonna be good. I definitely can't use this one because this is gonna be extremely distracting. Can you imagine? I'm just like doing my vlog and it's like Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna go with blue now that I have my lighting sorted. Let's get on with the video Oh, this is nine minutes already. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long Okay, let's get on track. I keep getting distracted by the lights. They're so beautiful They're so beautiful. This is gonna be fun to edit Sorry, future Nadia. Have fun. Where have I been? Excellent question that maybe nobody has asked, but I'm gonna address anyway. So my last video was posted a month ago, and then the one before that was four months ago. So did I just hold up three? I just held up three. Yeah, four months ago. It's been a while. What happened? You might ask or might not. I'm gonna tell you either way. I have been at home this entire time, really, have barely gone anywhere because I'm unemployed so I don't have a job to go to and Corona's out there and I definitely don't want to get that because I don't have good health insurance because of lack of job. So I've been at home a lot, which is honestly ideal for an introvert like me. It's been kind of great. There really hasn't been that bad. I have been working on my mental health a ton and that basically means avoiding social media and the news at all possible costs because they are both toxic, toxic places at the moment with the election coming up and just everything people have a lot to shout about and argue and complain and it's just not fun. So I've been avoiding that and doing more productive, healthy things with my time. I journal every day. I've been reading these like self-help motivational books which have actually been pretty insightful and I've enjoyed those quite a bit. I started meditating a couple days ago which I've never done before and it's extremely uncomfortable the first time you do it because you're just sitting in silence for like five minutes and you don't know what to do with your brain but it was weird because I entered like a calm state I was staring at a candle flame which is what I was told to do because it's supposed to be really soothing and it actually went by a lot faster than I thought it would and now I'm to the point where I love silence in the morning and if anyone is making any noises like my brother was eating cereal this morning in the crunch was too loud for me because I needed complete silence in my morning to finish my morning routine. I've also been doing some exercising. I go to the park occasionally, do a little bit of hiking, and then I exercise on my treadmill. All of that has been immensely helpful for my mental health. I can honestly say, I think I've been in the best mental health I've probably ever been in. Honestly, like this year, I don't think I've had any panic attacks and I may have been depressed like two days. That's it. Like I keep tracking my moods too to figure out like how many days I have like depressive episodes. Very small amount of them. And if I do get depressed, like I turn it around so fast. Normally if I got depressed, it'd be like a week of feeling awful. And then it would slowly be back to neutral and then even longer till like good. Now it's like, I feel like crap. And then later that day or even the next day, I'm like, I feel pretty good again. Life is awesome. Gratitude, gratitude is freaking huge. Sounds stupid at first, but once you like do it every single day, it just completely transforms your mindset. Long story short, I have been gone from this channel and the internet in general because I've been trying to take care of my mental health and get to a really stable, good place where I feel like I can be most productive and creative and come back and make stuff on my own terms and feel really good about it. 
So that's why I'm back, because I'm feeling pretty good and I miss talking to you guys. I've also managed to pick up some new hobbies. I started sewing. My parents got me a sewing machine for my birthday and my first project were house banners for my brother's room because we redecorated his entire room to be Harry Potter themed. It's pretty sick actually. There's gonna be a video coming soon of the whole transformation. We've really got into decorating this year. Not only his room, but we also threw very elaborate birthdays for each other because we couldn't really go anywhere and we couldn't invite anyone so it was just us. So we decided to make it the most memorable year for birthdays. <laughs> so I threw my brother a Stranger Things themed birthday and I wanted to turn our living room into the upside down. I made a Demogorgon pinata and I made a whole bunch of themed snacks and then I put like a light that sh made the whole room look red. It was really intense and really cool and I was really proud of myself because I was like I went above and beyond to make his birthday incredible and you know what he does? He beats me at my own game. He threw me the office themed birthday and just the level of detail was mind-blowing. There were signs that he made from different parties that they had in the office and the snacks. He got me one of those disposable cameras. I got a freaking Dundee. It was just nuts. I'm still like thinking back to all the details that he had and he did little place cards for everything and he bought Kit Kats and on each Kit Kat he wrote all the things that Andy was guessing for breaking me off a piece of that because he couldn't figure out what it was so he was like fancy feast football cream fancy feast football cream okay ah! it's football yeah. cream it's football cream i was completely blown away it was incredible probably the greatest birthday no definitely the greatest birthday i think i've ever had we didn't stay in the house all the time though we also took a couple road trips kind of random ones to be completely honest. We drove all the way to Indianapolis, which is three and a half hours one way and then three and a half hours back for the sole purpose of why not? Seriously, we were just like, you wanna to drive to Indianapolis? Yeah, okay, why not? Let's do it. And we drove all the way there, got out of the car, walked around downtown for like an hour and then drove back. The only thing we really did was stop at the Indiana sign at the border and take a picture. And then we happened to see the world's largest rocking chair. That was actually a really sick stop, so I'm glad we did that. I'll have another video of that on my second channel if you wanna check that out later. These last few months, I've just done a lot of really spontaneous things. If I wake up one morning and decide I wanna go do something, I'll go do it because life is short and I have that freedom at the moment to be able to do that. Like one morning, I decided to wake up at four and drive 45 minutes to a lake to watch the sunrise. It was so peaceful. It felt like nothing in the world mattered in that moment and it was amazing. I'm so happy to have that moment. And then another night I decided I wanted to rank fast food fries. So we went to like five different places and only bought fries and then came home, tasted them all, and decided which one was the best. Culver's is the best, followed by a tie between Wendy's and Arby's, followed by Burger King, and in very last place, McDonald's, cause meh. I went to the drive-in for the first time in my life. I saw E.T. in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. It's an interesting experience, I gotta say. I'm glad I did it. I definitely like the regular cinema more, but I'm not setting foot in one of those just yet because it is not safe, in my opinion. Just, no. I'm still one of those people that disinfects my groceries. I started customizing VHS tapes. I made them for all of my cousin's birthdays. They're a lot of fun. I'm actually thinking about potentially selling them. Would you buy them? Would you be interested in that? I don't know. I'm thinking of maybe doing an Etsy store. I've been picking up a lot of different crafting. It's just a thought. We'll see what happens. Let's see what else have I been up to. Oh, I'm bleach dyeing a bunch of clothing because I accidentally <laughs> bleach so many of my black pants. I use Clorox spray on like all the packages and everything that come into my house and it accidentally gets on my pants and then I have to bleach dye them like these. These are actually really cool though. I'm pretty psyched about these pants. In addition to our birthdays, we also celebrated two Eids. Uh, those were at home and super weird because this is the first time in my life I didn't go to the masjid for Eid prayer. And that was kind of unsettling. But we made the most of it. The first Eid, my parents got us an arcade basketball hoop. Some not fun stuff we've been up to is a lot of adulting when it comes to house stuff. I think I've done more adulting in this last few months than in my entire adult life. I have replaced a faucet, fixed drywall, removed mold, replaced a stove burner, installed a kitchen cabinet and countertop, and replaced a toilet. I mean, I'm almost 30, so I guess it makes sense that I should know how to do all this, but it was not fun. I still have to go in my crawl space and suck out a bunch of water, and I'm terrified of going down there because I'm afraid of spiders and dark and just, mm, I don't wanna go in there. 
it's gonna be claustrophobic and gross, but I have to, so. Yay, I love being an adult. Okay, I am in the crawl space. This is awful. This is the stuff of nightmares. I hate every moment of this. Okay, let's explore. Oh, and I almost forgot, I joined TikTok. I am one of the millennials on TikTok now, yes. It's horribly addicting. I'll open the app and three hours later, I'm like, what did I just do with my life? I kind of love it though, I'm obsessed. You guys should go check out my page. It's at Real Misfits. I got Harry Potter, Doctor Who, Stranger Things, Star Wars. You guys should definitely go check them out. Here's the Doctor Who one. I like it, it's weird, it's interesting over there. I'm still adjusting, but it's a lot of fun. So you should come, join, check it out. I've actually been up to quite a bit since I've been gone, but most importantly, I've had a lot of quality time with my brother, and I've had a lot of time to take care of my mental health, which is very important. I hope you guys are taking care of yours. I know the world is a very crazy place right now for everyone and I hope you are all doing okay. I have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen the next couple months, especially with the election coming up in the United States. I am honestly terrified, but I'm gonna take it one day at a time, and just try to be the best version of myself possible to emit as much positive energy out into the world as I can. Just hope for the best. <laughs> That's all we can really do and vote. That's the extent of my politics talk on this channel. Just, just go out and vote, guys. You need to make your voice heard now more than ever. Thanks for catching up with me today, guys. I really miss talking to you. How are you doing? Let me know in the comment section below. What have you been up to? Any new hobbies? How are you handling life right now? I have a bunch of videos that I have planned. I have a list behind my camera with just a ton of videos that I've been scripting and getting ready and I'm really excited to post. I'm not gonna say a schedule or anything because as much as I would like to be like, there's new videos every couple days, no promises because this is life in the time of coronavirus. So you don't know what's gonna happen, but I am super excited to make stuff. I'm gonna try my absolute best to start posting things more regularly, definitely more regularly than every like month or four months. <laughs> but I got some fun stuff coming at you. There's the office birthday video, my brother's Harry Potter room tour. I'm gonna talk about some of the TV shows and movies that I've watched during quarantine and maybe do some more reactions. I haven't done those in forever. I don't know. Honestly, what do you guys wanna see on this channel? I'm probably just gonna make whatever I have fun making, but I would like your input just to see what you guys are interested in. So maybe I can throw a few more videos out in a specific area if you guys are more interested in that. As always, if you like travel stuff, check out my second channel, Travel Misfits. I'm gonna have more videos about Jordan because I have an entire backlog of footage from when I went to Jordan at the beginning of the year. Oh my God, that was just the beginning of the year. It feels like it's been years since then. This kind of went off the rails. Where was I going with this? This is what happens when you take four months off of videos and then you come back. It's just, it's just a mess. This file is literally a half an hour. I don't know what this video is. Thanks for catching up with me today. I really miss talking to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Is that what we do here? Subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, do all the YouTube stuff. I hope you stay safe and stay healthy out there. Remember to keep it weird and keep it real. Whoa, it's been a long time since I've said that. Okay, bye!